I'm Tom Baker, the editor at Chasing Cars. An increasing proportion of the vehicles that we review are fully electric, like this one, the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, which was our 2022 EV of the year. We think we do an all right job reviewing these cars, continuing to focus on things like ride and handling as well as EV specific attributes. That being said, we're now introducing two new tests, which we think really matter to Australian buyers thinking about picking up a fully electric vehicle. The first of these is a highway range test. Around the world, not everybody uses EVs for highway driving, but here in Australia, it's a really important task. This is a big continent with long distances between cities. And for most Australians, road trips continue to be a fact of life. And being able to drive on the highway between these cities continues to be a buying factor. That's why we're introducing a new highway range test conducted at an average speed of about 100 kilometers per hour, measured over 200 kilometers of driving, from which we can extrapolate the total range of the vehicle from full to empty, so you know exactly how far it would get you on the highway. Using the data from the highway range test, we've also developed a new charging test. Instead of using confusing data from car manufacturers like 10 to 80%, which differs massively depending on the size of the battery, we've developed a fixed test about how quickly you can get from 50 kilometers of range on the highway to 350 kilometers of range on the highway. And this is going to give you a really usable number that impacts how quickly you're back on the road on a given road trip. We think that 350 kilometers of range is really the minimum viable range for an EV to be sold here in Australia. And the reason we've decided on a 50 to 350 kilometer recharging test is because here in New South Wales, the state government has decided that in the country, EV charges need to be about 100 kilometers apart. So with a 300 kilometer recharge, you've got three opportunities to stop in for another top up. That's our rationale. I'd like to hear your feedback down below in the comments. But from this point forward, we'll be deploying these two tests on every EV that we review. So you've got fixed baselines to know exactly how far an EV will take you on the highway and exactly how fast or slow it will be to charge from 50 to 350 kilometers of range on the highway. It's all because we wanna make buying an EV or any new car as clear as possible and being powered by Budget Direct, we're free to give you truthful, independent data that affects how you use your car. I'm Tom Baker, this is Chasing Cars. Leave me a comment down below and thanks for watching. Chasing Cars, honest reviews of your next car. Brought to you by Budget Direct.